Good morning from Mokra Gora here in Western Serbia. We are here for one specific reason and that is we are going on a train but it's not any old train it's called the Sarjan 8 and it's 99 years old so it's a retro train and we're going to check it out. picking up our tickets. You can reserve them, you've just got to send an email so you can guarantee your spot. One thousand six hundred. Okay, thank you. Vala. Vala, ciao. Vala. To book this train, the Sarjan 8, it's not so clear online, but basically there's an email address that you can email, you reserve the tickets, and then you pay for it actually when you get here. Um, it's just a small little wooden ticket booth on the railway track, so the tickets were 800 each. So what's that, so like Nine or ten? Nine pounds maybe? Ten pounds? No, 1,600 total. Oh sorry, per person I'm thinking. Um, so like 20 quid? Is it? Well. We'll, we'll work it out. Quid. We'll work out. We'll put it. Uh, we'll put it below. Yeah, maybe it was about eight pounds per person. <laughs> Math isn't our strong point. First three-hour trade. Yeah, I know. And I think that I wonder if this is the train up above, up ahead. I mean. And this, I think, is where we're going to go for breakfast in a minute. We, this is where we went for dinner last night. And they had like some breakfast. And look at this! Model railway. The model railway. I need to fix the lens. Hang on. Oh, there you go. There's the train. Which I think is meant to be a model of the train. Since it's winter time, the train actually only runs one time during the day in the low season. But it does do two trips in the summer season. So today the train leaves at 11.45. I actually think that's the train behind us. Um, so you can see it's totally retro carriages. Yeah, it looks a. And yeah, this train used to connect Serbia to Bosnia. It started in 1925, so 99 years ago. Oh yeah, pretty much. And I think it stopped in the 80s or the 70s. And now it's just become a tourist train. So we're excited. It takes you through all the mountains, through all the tunnels and I think it stops for some photo stops along the way so I mean Dan like trains <laughs> excited to see the scenery <laughs> yeah, yeah should be good oh, we're train nerds <laughs> that's cool when I say we're train nerds though we don't know like the make and model of trains we're not that much into them we just like train rides <laughs> so I don't know what locomotive this could be if you do know, feel free to comment below. But we just like sitting on a train. It looks cool. You can see inside. We'll show you obviously when we board. Um, but yeah, I think it is time for breakfast. Once we've walked to the end. Oh. Look how retro that is. It's ace. This camera is so shaky, <laughs> so I'm sorry. Cool house thing. Wonder if it's like the train, the old train house, a railway house. Oh, and these—I think these are little, little hotel rooms. Yeah, they are because there's a couple of hotels up here. So we've got about an hour to go. Um, we've ordered Daniel Eve on omelette. Cheese, cheese omelette. Omelet, scrambled eggs, two coffees, of course. We've got, yeah, a bit of time to kill. We so just actually saw the train go past. Yeah, it just got hooked past. up to the, well, the engine. Yeah. 
and we moved it down the track a little bit, so I'm exciting. Excited. Train nerds. <laughs> Our coffees have just arrived. We did not expect to get like I don't know, it's like almost like a latte with a little kitty straw. What was it? It was so Nescafe coffee. We ordered the Nescafe coffee is because everybody in Serbia has got this red Nescafe mug. Yeah. It feels like anyway. And we thought it was just going to be a little mug of coffee. Yeah, like Nescafe coffee. Nescafe coffee, but... We've got this. It's, it looks like something you get, like... Yeah. It's like a... Yeah, like a latte, Funky isn't latte, it? Yeah. yeah. I wonder how it tastes. I'll do taste test. I've never, ever, ever had coffee through a straw. Hot coffee, not a plastic straw. straw. <laughs> it's nice, it's just like a yeah, warm coffee. Maybe there's like a little flavour in there. There's a hot milky coffee. So I ordered scrambled eggs and mine looks more of an omelette than Dan's. Who ordered the omelette? <laughs> Cheesy right there. Yeah, tuck in. And the, the bread's really good. We had this last night. We've just finished breakfast and the train is slowly getting ready to leave. It is getting a little bit busier. Um, it seems mainly locals because it's will be like school Christmas holidays because it's Orthodox Christmas soon. But yeah, the train takes about two to three hours and it does make a few stops along the way for photo breaks and things like that. Excited to get on board and to check out the retro carriages. So let's go. Old retro bench. <laughs> Made it on the train. We have been all up and down the carriage, it's absolutely rad. Like it's so busy. So we've picked the end one. We managed to get a couple seats. The one closest to the engine. Yeah, so the front, actually. Yeah. Um, There's a little the viewing bit that we can go out on. We're leaving about five minutes. Yeah. And it definitely feels like yeah. this train is 100 years old. Yeah. It's pretty retro, all uh, made of wood. Virtually, they've got like these electric heaters or like old style gas heaters working on the train as well. Yeah, five minutes will we leave. Pick up a little bit of speed. Yeah. It's a bit cold though, I never took my hat. This is so cool. I got off the side of the train. One out of twenty-two. One out of twenty-two. It's quite a noisy train. Yeah, it is. That's super cool. The views are cool already though. We've only been on like two minutes. Well, 
cloudy, misty skies, yeah. So we've just made our first stop and I think it's about 15 minutes to stop for but we're climbing this almost like a cliff for a viewpoint at the top there's a tiny little waterfall as well but because it's the holidays here it's super busy but I think we're gonna get a good view of the surroundings and also the train from the top here and this stop is called Jatapi I think that's how you say it yeah it's pretty cool so far Getting ready to leave, I think, maybe like a few minutes. Everyone seems to be heading back on the train. Nice first stop, a little waterfall. There's like a little woodland walk some people went on where we just saw the waterfall and then back on the train yeah. for more of the same. Although it's cool, it's definitely cool to stand out in these outdoor bits. Yeah. Get the view. Yeah, it's so nice. I'm open. It. This is what the train looks like, but there's nobody else on it. <laughs> We've got it to ourselves. Look at this. Old retro carriage. Yeah, it's this. With like the, I guess, for your suitcase or bags. They've got the heaters. For they the weren't carriage. there. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't have been there back in the day. 99 years ago, yeah, but. Yeah. but. Yeah, I don't know what this is for. Anyone? Maybe. Would it be to hold the window open? I don't know. Doesn't seem to reach anything. But yeah, this is what railway travel was like <coughs> almost a hundred years ago. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So if we had got a seat on the carriage, this is what it would have looked like. <laughs> but yeah, we chose to stand. It was pretty cold by the end of it. So nice to get in, but yeah, definitely a cool experience cool railway experience really cool yeah add it to our list of what trains have we been yeah. on we've been on sergeant eight we've been on high speed one in serbia 
a bunch in Central Europe getting around there. Overnight train to Roviemi. Oh yeah, yeah. All very different, but all very cool and We just like trains. <laughs> we just like trains. Okay, should Right, we let's go to the next stop. Continue, yeah. So that was an incredible experience, really enjoyable train, would definitely recommend coming to the Sargon 8 railway if you're in West Serbia, made the road trip well worth it. Um, slightly different from the last train we were on, that took us to Novi Sad, the high speed rail, but a really cool way to see the mountains of Mokre Gora. We're actually away to somewhere slightly different now still in Mokregora, but we're away to visit an old film set for a really famous Serbian film. So we've just parked up and we've just arrived to Drevingard and this was a film set built specifically for a film called Life is a Miracle and it's a Serbian film about a guy who helps build the railway between Serbia and Bosnia. It's very fitting for the area, but it's meant to be built this village like a traditional Serbian mountain town or village. So let's go inside. I think the tickets are only a couple of pounds. Let's go inside and explore it. It says pastry shop this way. And they look at the Christmas tree. They've got a lovely Christmas tree. Shall we go for a wonder? It was £2.20 per person to get in. And let's go explore this film set. They've got some lovely like elevator music playing. Lokita restaurant. So it's old, traditional Serbian. They're really cool. Very like, yeah, Bavarian almost, some of them. This is nice, it's probably the church, isn't it? I think so. Cinema? Haha, <laughs> cinema. The theatre. It's quite cute, this. They've got candles on. Neither of us have actually seen the film, but it is pretty cool walking around the village. That's a really nice view, because you're up on the top of the hill, so it's a nice view of all the mountains. I wonder if we can stay here. Because I've seen like a few like cleaner ladies, I think. Maybe like turning down rooms. So you might be able to stay here. Potentially. Maybe. I, like I actually think one. you can. Yeah. I like this one because the view all over the valley is unreal. And the sun's popping out now. It looks nice. A little bit chillier today. Yeah, it's cold today. <laughs> had to get my hat and you had to get yours. But yeah, this is, it's nice like. What was it, two pounds each? Yeah. So you can't really complain at the price of it. It's just like, it's just a bit random. Yeah. But. It's just houses. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. We found the pastry shop. Mm. 
happy face on because we've come into a bakery and ordered mm -hmm. cake and coffee. Um, I've gone, well, we've, we're going to share, but this one is called Plasma Cake. We saw it in the window and it looked good, so it's like a Serbian biscuit cake base with raspberries and then cream. And the other one we've gone for is this massive slab of cheesecake that looks equally as good. So... It's just off the main square. Yeah, just here. That's really good. Yeah. It's basically, do you know what I think it's going to taste like? I reckon the cake is like the base of the cheesecake, but it's in cake form. The raspberries are super sweet, really tasty, and the cream is good. So we're back again, if you can't tell, at our favourite restaurants. Today's been an epic day exploring Mokragora. We saw the train, the incredible scenery around the train, and then the film set village, which was awesome. Plus, it's not a day out with us without cake, and we had plenty of that. So we're going to round off the vlog here, and tomorrow join us as we explore more of Western Serbia on our epic road trip. And hope you enjoy seeing this part of the world because we're having a great time. We love it, Serbia. Jiveli. Jiveli.